Caillou. Time to go back to work. Time to go back to work. Yes, sir. Hello folks, welcome to what I think is going to be one of two parts of me bringing Merlin back into work. So he has now been off for technically seven and a half weeks. It's Wednesday, February 7th, and this video is gonna cover the first two weeks of him being back in work. If you follow us normally, you'll know that I don't currently have any saddles because my saddles were part of a mass recall. So we're kind of going back to basics to bring him back into work. Last year, I did maybe two or three groundwork sessions with him before I brought him back into work and he was quite silly the first few weeks under saddle so I'm hoping that if I do a little bit more groundwork this year and I'm kind of being forced to because I don't have any saddles I'm hoping that we might be able to progress more quickly under saddle like normal at this time of year when he's been out of work I'm letting him have a few minutes just to wander around in case he's got any buckies in there and then we are going to do you see I've got the surcingle and his halter on I'm gonna put the long lines on and we're going to do, see how much he has patience for. We're gonna do 15, maybe 20 minutes of walking. Next week, I'll add in some trot. And then once I've added in some trot on the long lines, I'll start putting him out on the lunge for light work. Even though he's only been off seven weeks, I wanna take it really slowly. And yeah, just make sure that I'm doing things right by him. Cause I think last year, one of the reasons why he was a bit silly when I brought him back into work was that I might have brought him back into work a little too quickly. So I'm learning from my, here, cheat. So I'm learning from my mistakes last year and hopefully doing better by him this year. You just stand in there like a creeper. He trotted around and didn't really have anything in there. So we're going to put my helmet on because you know, I'm gonna be standing behind a big horse, no matter how good he is. Ah, monkey trying to grab the pitchfork. So you might be asking, Caitlin, why long lining instead of hand walking? And the answer is because I can get him working through his back from behind and okay, good boy. And it puts him more in the idea of working compared to hand walking because I do hand walk him quite regularly. So like here, he's, he's not stretching, but he is decently working through his back in a nice outline. And that's what I want. So it's well, not like double lunging, kind of, but it just kind of puts him more in the idea of working. And I can treat the long lines as reins. And I was wondering if we were even going to get to 15 minutes. But as I started filming this, I was at 16 minutes. So I think we're going to hit the 20 that I wanted. Yeah, he's being really good. And any time that he shows that he might exert some energy, like wanting to go up into a trot or spook i do something to distract him so i ask him whoa and whoa and whoa good boy <laughs> you whoa good boy when he does this regularly he's really really good with his voice commands okay that a boy but kind of just to divert his attention to the opposite of what he wants to do and to keep his energy really calm and low. Once he starts trotting, I'll be able to use this as a double lunge so I can keep him in an outline while he's trotting. If you listen, you can hear the dogs barking. You're okay, yeah, I know. You're all right. It happens sometimes in the winter where at night they hear coyotes or something in the forest and throughout the whole session, she was barking like very gently every few minutes and then one of the other dogs came out and now they're barking and he held himself together so beautifully for me once the other one started barking i could feel him tense up so i stopped there and uh, oh that reminds me i have to stop my equilab which by the time this goes out you will know that 
I am actually now an Equilab ambassador, which is great. I'm so excited. So long story short, if you would like, I think it's 35% off Equilab Premium, you can use the code Caitlin35. I'll put that on the screen here. It feels weird to be saying this because I'm not an influencer, but it's cool to have collaborations with brands that I love and have been using for ages. Back to my story. ADHD diversion. So yeah, towards the end, they started barking really, really loudly and he tensed up. So I stopped the session there, let him go and he's much more relaxed. So it's all about reading the room, isn't it? I'm very proud of you for how you held yourself together. Yeah, he's a good boy. Here, do you want a treat? Do it. Uh, 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 back off. Mm -mm. That's a good boy. Calm. Good. So I must admit that it has been a decent amount of time since I last did a session with Merlin. It's now Monday and I last worked him on Wednesday. He's been in the arena for a leg stretch and things like that, but I just haven't had the time or the situation hasn't been right. So I wanted to longline him yesterday, but the weather was just really, really gross. It was windy and the arena was really loud. And I just knew that that wouldn't be conducive to a relaxed and calm environment. So I decided 20 minutes of walking will not make that much of a difference to him. So we're gonna do it tonight. So I'm going to longline him again. He is actually decently fit and I have a notification that my saddles are going to be arriving in two days, which is great. The saddle fitter won't be able to come out till end of February, but I'll be able to get on sooner than anticipated. So I'm gonna do a few more longlining sessions. I might do a little bit of trot tonight. We'll see how he is. And then we will start a little bit of lunging and then I'll get on and do slowly increasing rise until I feel like his fitness is good. Tonight, I think I'm going to put my GoPro on and you'll get kind of an idea of the perspective of what it's like to longline Merlin. That's a good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. We can also just appreciate how much of a saint this horse is for standing like this. All right, that's okay, that didn't. What the heck is going on? Ready? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong way, silly. Let's go this way. Good boy. The main thing I'm working on today will be similar as last time is just voice aids for halting and getting him to stretch through his back. So we will go over these poles. Good boy. And we'll. Good boy. And I am notorious for being really bad at keeping hold of my lines. So sometimes during a session, I have to stop and regroup, which is fine because it teaches him standing skills. He is alert about something. So when he's being alert about something, I want to keep his energy down by redirecting his attention away from whatever he's looking at and asking him to occupy his mind by looking at things, or not by looking at things, by doing things. So, ho, ho, we're going to incorporate some transitions. He's a little, yeah, I can see he's a little bit stressed about something because he's a little more distracted than he normally is. We're gonna stay down here because I think whatever's bugging him is that the opposite end. And I'm keeping my hands as soft as I would keep my reins. Hold on. Good man. And you will notice that he's in a halter. When I long line, I typically don't use a bit because I don't know, I don't need it. He hasn't really worn a bit much in the last few months and for long lining, he, he genuinely doesn't need it. So I'll either put a bitless bridle on or his halter. And to be honest, like his halter does just fine. So why complicate the process of tacking up and you can just use what he's already wearing. All right, I think whatever was worrying him is gone. Come on, I'm gonna go over the pulse. What are you looking at? You're looking at the mounting block. Are you looking at your own poop? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Dingle. That's your own poop, you numpty. Yes, Merlin, I swear to God. Okay, so now we're going more in a double lunge kind of situation. He hasn't done this in a long time, so we're just gonna stay at a walk for now. Now, double lunge versus something like side reins. I don't really use side reins anymore, to be honest, but the double lunge is nice because you can get the same kind of effect. Like you can get them working through the back without like, I have give here versus the side reins don't really have any give. These act more like 
proper reins. Good boy, I know. He's a little unsure of the feeling behind his legs, I think. Good boy. And if all we do is a little bit of trot this way. <laughs> yeah, you're a little uncertain, aren't you? Good there. Good boy, steady. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you're okay. Yeah, I know. And woo. Good boy. Look on. Good man. Well done. All right. I walk a little bit and then you're done. The way that I approach the end of the session is I gather up and then we fling one end over you the side. You have 14 minutes of walk. You have ridden for 20 minutes. <laughs> Get that out of your mouth, you monkey. I'll undo this side. Pull it over. Let go. You numbed. Oh, stop. And then we'll undo this side. Pull it out. And there we go. Howdy, so. friends. Let's have a chat, shall we? So I started filming this video, I think, on February 7th. And 7th or 8th, it was like the end of the first week of February. And at the time, I had every intention of, you know, starting to do two to three sessions a week with Merlin and really getting him back into a working mode prior to getting my new saddles back and getting the saddle fitter out and things like that so that he'd have a certain baseline of fitness by the time that I got on. And it is February 21st, no 22nd, it's the 22nd. And I have done a total of two sessions with him. Hmm. There has just been some extenuating circumstances that meant that I haven't had, if not the time, then the energy to work either of them. We had a bit of a cold snap and then the ground was really terrible. I have been quite busy and tired at work and I've just kind of been going through a phase that happens every year where I'm just a little bit meh and normally it happens in January. I think in January I was just so sick with COVID and stuff that it didn't really hit. Now it's that time of year where it's nearing the end of February and spring is just around the corner but it seems so far away because the weather's just been up and down. So we've had a really warm winter and you get used to the warm and it's all nice and you start to feel like, yay, spring is here. And then you have, bam, minus 25 cold snap. So I think the weather being up and down has really affected my mood and my motivation and my energy combined with having a busy time at work. And I don't know, I just haven't been 100% mentally. My new saddles arrived maybe a week ago. And the saddle fitter is coming out on February 29th. So I think I'm going to put out part two of the saddle saga, which will likely include Merlin's first proper ride back. And then I will put out part two of this video, which will be his first couple weeks back under saddle. Understanding, of course, that not every session is going to be filmed. So I will be doing a lot of work with him that I won't be including in the videos because I'm still going to do a lot of groundwork sessions. I'm going to try to make up for the time that I've missed but you, like one one video worth of groundwork is enough there's only so many ways you can make groundwork interesting I just wanted to be real because I had all these plans for videos that I wanted to make and to be honest planning out my YouTube videos is a really great way for me to plan out work that I want to do with horses that month I had the idea to do Eve's first bounce and that was great but sometimes you know plans are made with the best intentions and then life catches up with you. Even a year ago, I would have felt a lot of guilt for not, like today is Thursday and I haven't been out to the barn since Saturday. So that tells you what kind of mood or funk I've been in. And yeah, I guess my point for wanting to record this clip is just to say this video is not as structured and organized and it doesn't have as many sessions as I was originally planning it to, just because that's the way you know, that's the way things worked out. That's the way life happened. Like I can just feel the vitamin D soaking into my skin and the seasonal depression seeping out. Hi. 
Hey. Hello. Once again, it is more days later than I was planning, but he has had a couple of free lunging sessions in here. So today I'm going to pop him on the lunge and hopefully just get him to stretch long and low. He's pretty chill, aren't you? And basically this is gonna be the end of this video because for the next week or two, I'm basically just gonna be doing the same thing, lunging, free lunging, long lining. And then once I feel he's ready and the weather is right, I will start getting on. Good boy, dude. Up, up. Uh, lovely. And T rut. T rut. Trotty, trotty. Canter. Good. Ooh, see, I knew that was in there. I knew you had some beans. And T rut. Good boy. Get on. So my friends, that is it for this video. Apologies for how disjointed it is. The end product is definitely not what I had envisioned when I first started filming it, but as I've said multiple times in the video, such is life. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, a comment down below, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. So I mentioned earlier, and you would have seen in a recent video, that I am now a brand ambassador for Equilab, and they've actually given me three free months of Equilab Premium to give away on Instagram. and. And to be honest, not many people have entered it so far. I think there's been two people enter it. If you use Equilab and want a chance to get three free months and head over to my Instagram, it's at KT Equestrian. Same thing on TikTok too, if you want to follow me on TikTok. And you can go and follow these steps in the post. As of the date that this is being uploaded, which is February 27th, the giveaway is open for another few days. I'm going to be drawing the name on Friday, March 1st. So if you want to enter my first ever giveaway and probably last, head over to Instagram, follow all the instructions there, and you'll have a chance of winning three free months of Equilab Premium. But anyways, until next time, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Don't forget to give your horse or pony a hug or a kiss the next time you see them, and I will see you next time. Bye!